You've clicked on this video for one of two reasons. Either because you've experienced a Discord outage where Discord has gone down previously, or there's a current Discord outage. Now the question is, what do you do? We've all been in that position. We go onto Discord and it never loads. Discord isn't loading up because it's down. Or is it your terrible internet? Now that's the first thing that you will have to check. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. But if Discord is down, what do you even do? Because you can't talk to your friends on Discord. How do you know it's only you? How do you know what to do? Maybe it's raining outside and there's nothing to do and you're home alone and the TV's down as well. So what do you do? Now, I'll be telling you what to do in a Discord outage in today's video. So make sure to stick around for that. But before we get into that, there's a couple of things I would like to say. According to my YouTube statistics, only 27% of all of my viewers are subscribed to the channel. It means a lot if you could go and hit that subscribe button because it's completely free, doesn't cost you a single penny, and it can really help support me as a creator. So make sure to go do that and check you're still subscribed because of a YouTube glitch going around unsubscribing random people from the channel. Make sure to hit the like button on today's video and let's see if we can get to a thousand likes in the first 48 hours and comments and feedback. Go check out my editor channel for today's video, the link's on the screen. And also join both of my Discord servers, Cousins Magical World and Something for Everyone. If you do join them, please do not beg for Nitro because we will be banning people from now on. It's been really annoying recently. But also make sure to go and check out today's subscriber shout out. All the links are on screen right now. So make sure to go check them out and tell them you're from me. It'd be awesome if you could go do that and at least join and check them out because they do Nitro Good Rares too. Anyways, let's get into today's video. So Discord is down. Or is it your internet? Now that's the first thing that you want to check. Maybe it's just your internet being slow or playing up, or maybe it's your account or something like that. Well, the first thing to check is either to check you're still on the internet. So obviously make sure to check you're still up here and your internet's working. But if it is, then there's a couple of sites you can go and check on. And the first one is Discord status. Now what you do is you either just type in Discord status and it will bring up the web page. And once you're on there, you can go on here and you can see but once you clicked on it, you can see if all systems are operational. If they're all operational, it probably means that it's not Discord and it's probably you. So make sure to maybe replug your router or go and check your account still working, etc, etc. Because it's probably your side. But if this does say that Discord's down and you can see previous outages and incidents, as you can see here. For example, on the 11th of August, there were connection issues in Northeast US. You can see if it's down or potentially down, etc, etc. Now, this may not be reported the immediate second that Discord goes down. So what do you do if this isn't reported immediately? Well, there's a better place to go apart from Discord status. What you can go and do is you can go over to here. Now, all you do if Discord status doesn't show anything, there's the best place to go is also to go and check Twitter. So once you're over on Twitter, as you can see here, just go and search up Discord. And once you're on Discord, as you can see here, they will usually tweet out if there's been an outage. For example, down here on July 17th, they tweeted out saying that users are currently having trouble disconnecting to Discord due to an upstream internet issue. So that is a good place to go and check. So make sure to go and check the Discord Twitter because it can show if Discord's down. For example, another thing you can go do is go and check the hashtag Discord down and see if there has been other stuff here. For example, there are Twitter accounts about outages and down detector and stuff like that, which you can check. And if you go and latest, you can see if Discord is potentially down or in a service outage, etc, etc, or people are experiencing it. So you can know if other people are in the same boat. So Twitter is another very good place to go and check. But if Twitter's not saying anything, is there any other places you can go check as well? Yes, there are three other places. The next place to go and check is probably Reddit. If you go to reddit.com slash r slash discord app, occasionally people will go there and talk about a discord outage. It will usually hit the hot results quite quickly, but if you go onto the new tab and you go here, it will probably bring up discord outage around here as well. I mean, a lot of people obviously talk on the Reddit, so even if you say it's Discord down, you might get some responses related to that. Down Detector is another good website to check if Discord is down as well. Um, basically, it shows that there's been problems and where there's been problems. So for example, if I go to a live outage map, it shows where there could be issues. So for example, in the UK, it looks like a lot of people might be having issues with Discord in the last couple of hours, um, especially in a lot of the cities. Like if you go over here, for example, Spain seems to be having issues. New York seems to be having issues. Uh, a little bit in San Francisco as well. But apart from that, you can kind of see where people might be having issues. It can also say if there's been problems at Discord and people can talk on here as well and talk about if there has been outages. Another place to check is to go and check that the things that Discord use are down as well. Because if things that Discord use are down, you might be having 
having issues. For example, I believe Discord use Google Cloud, so make sure to go check status.cloud.google.com. By the way, I'll put all of these links in the description and you can go check there. Another place is obviously about Cloudflare, so make sure to go check that on potentially Down Detector as well. All you do is you just search Cloudflare and it basically will show if they had Down Detectors. Cloudflare is a major part of Discord and if Cloudflare is down, then Discord will be down as well, most likely. So those are all the ways you can go and check. But what if Discord is down? What is there to do? That is the real question. I'll be giving you my five top tips and yes, a very, very secret on what to do if Discord is down. So let's get right into this. So my number one top tip if Discord is down is to go and watch YouTube. Like YouTube is very cool. You might as well watch it for a little bit. You can watch a couple of videos if Discord is down. And the channel which I do highly recommend to go and watch is a channel called Custom Name. And I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but if you go and search up Custom Name, you can come across it. Now, all you have to do is make sure to hit the subscribe button there. And some videos I do suggest are obviously watching this outage video that you're watching right now. Uh, so you probably already found it to be honest. Um, and some other ones. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of Discord videos and it's almost like you're using Discord. So you can watch Discord in the process. But apart from that, other channels I recommend, PewDiePie, MrBeast, uh, Sandrow, uh, Softwilly. Uh, th there's a bunch of uh, really good channels out there to go watch and keep you entertained. Netflix is another good option potentially, so go watch that as well. But what else is there to do apart from watching content? Now, if you really, really need to talk to your friends, what do you do? Well, the next thing I really recommend you do is obviously go over to this website. Um, It's really cool. It's called Skype. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's really, really, really good. So what you do is you just go download and um, you just go uh, uh, on second thoughts. I wouldn't download Skype. Skype's actually really annoying and bad and it's nowhere near as good as Discord. Just save yourself from getting it, honestly. I just wouldn't get it generally, is my opinion. But uh, I would just wait to talk to your friends as soon as Discord's back up or go and see them in real life. I mean, unless they are obviously in America and it's a bit hard and you're in the UK. Um, you can always swim across the Atlantic Ocean if you want to do that. It's, uh, it's very helpful. Um, it's, very, it's very easy. I can do it in 10 seconds. I don't know about you, but I can swim the Atlantic Ocean in 10 seconds. So it's pretty useful. Don't download Skype. Um, I'm gonna have to delete that from my computer shortly after this video because I will feel like my computer is actually struggling to hold Skype on the computer because it just won't really like it. And I will just have to comfort my computer by removing it. So let's think about the next thing that you can do if Discord is down. Now the next thing you could do if Discord is down is to actually go and find some servers you can join as soon as Discord is back up. Now, some of these actually do use Cloudflare, as you can see in the background here. So make sure you can access these websites without Cloudflare, which is usually the reason why this call goes down. However, what you do is you just go to like the top results and you can potentially find just like the top Discord servers to join potentially when you rejoin. I mean, then you can meet some new friends and you've just found some stuff to do. I mean, you might as well do it. It's uh, it, it, why not? What is what is there to lose? apart from just going and going to find some more Discord servers. So Top GG is one I suggest. Uh, I'd go and have a look around at Top GG. It's uh, pretty awesome. So just go to the top search results and maybe go to the ones which are quite interesting. Maybe you want to find some more remote communities. So just click on the moats and then go and have a look around there and potentially join the ones that you see here. So have a look. Have a, you know, browse around on the Discord server lists and you might find some servers to join in the future. But the next one I'm going to talk about is potentially going IRL. So let's get into that. Right, guys. So the next thing I really suggest is potentially going in real life. So maybe go and explore something in real life. So, for example, I'm on Google Maps right now and I really wanted to explore London. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to explore the streets of London by going around. Um, it's very useful. Uh, you can see there's a bus stop over here. Uh, there's like a little bus stop information sign so that's pretty cool um i mean the best thing maybe to do is try and find discord headquarters uh and then go and ask them why discord's down but i don't really think you can find it that easily on google maps uh, they're pretty hidden so uh we're just gonna potentially go down this road and hope that discord hq's there uh that's enough for in real life today i uh, i'm scared and i'm i uh, bye Okay, guys, the final one is an actual legitimate thing which I wanted to talk about. So if Discord is generally down, there are some actual awesome things you can go and do. Discord isn't your life. It can't be just your life. So maybe go out and have some exercise outside. Go cycling. Cycling's awesome. It's something I love to do. Go and watch YouTube, as I said. Honestly, it's why not go do that? Maybe even go to Twitch. And by the way, I do have a Twitch channel, so make sure to go follow me on that. Um, apart from that, maybe go and listen to music. Spotify is pretty awesome. Go and 
chill out on some music and have a vibe. Maybe go have a shower or a bath or do something in real life. Maybe go cook or something like that. Some awesome recipes can be found on can be found on BBC Good Food. Uh, so potentially if you want to go cook, eat something uh, just while Discord's down and then come back and then talk with your friends. So you know what? There is a lot more apart from just Discord. And I will be doing more videos in the future which aren't just Discord related. I mean, I will be doing a lot of Discord in the future, etc, etc. But Discord isn't the only video type I will make. So I've told you how to check if Discord's down. I've given you some suggestions what to do when Discord's down. But apart from that, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And oh look, just in the time of me remaking this video, Discord is back up. I mean, it never really went down, I just pretended it did just to make this video. But apart from that, Discord is up. So, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope it has enabled you to actually know if it's your internet or Discord that's down. Know a bit more about how Discord works and actually know that Discord has outages and stuff like that. If you're on your phone, you can still go and look up those websites. And honestly, go and have fun while Discord's down. It'd be a nice chance to get a break from your computer or your tablet or anything like that, potentially. Or go and just chill and be have some self-time without talking to others. Why not just use it as a time to get away? Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. I will be seeing you tomorrow with actually a completely Discord-based video. But um, have an awesome, awesome day. Remember to subscribe, like today's video, and comment some feedback. And peace out and see you tomorrow.